In this tutorial, we're going to practice multiplying fractions together. The first example that we have is 5 eighths times 4 fifths. One way to do this problem is to simply multiply the numerators together to get your numerator. In this case, we have 5 times 4, which produces 20. And for the denominator, we have 8 times 5, which produces 40. And because the top number, or the numerator, is exactly half of the bottom, we can reduce that fraction to one half. Now another way that we could have done this problem is to recognize that we had a five on the top and a five at the bottom. When you are multiplying numbers where you have a numerator and a denominator that are the same, you may cancel those numbers out and change them both into the number one. So on the top we have one times four remaining, which is four, and on the bottom, we have 8 times 1, which produces 8. And we still have a numerator that is exactly half of the denominator, so we may reduce that fraction to 1 half. Let's try another example. For this problem, we have a mixed number being multiplied by a whole number. So the first thing that we have to do is rename the mixed number into an improper fraction. When doing this, remember your denominator will remain exactly the same. And to get your numerator, you start with the denominator and multiply it by the whole number. And in this case, we have 2 times 2. That produces 4. And then you add the numerator to that product. So 4 plus 1 is 5. And when you have a whole number, you have to take that whole number and write 1 as a denominator. So whenever you are dealing with whole numbers and fractions, you simply write any whole number as a fraction by writing a 1 as its denominator. Now we should check for any cancellation, but we should recognize that we cannot cancel any numerator with any one denominator. So in this case, we are going to proceed to multiply the numerators together. 5 times 5 produces 25. And for the denominator, we have 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. And now we have an improper fraction that we have to rename as a mixed number. So we're going to go off to the side here and divide 25 by 2. And 2 can fit inside 25 a total of 12 times, which gives us a total of 24. And that leaves us with the remainder of 1. And we always write our remainder as our numerator. And the divisor, which is right here, will always be the denominator. So 2 and 1 half times 5 is equal to 12 and a half. Now to solve this problem, we have to figure out what the area of this rectangle is. It looks close to a square, but the dimensions are different in regards to the length and the width. And because the length and the width are different, that means that we have a rectangle. To find the area of any rectangle, you multiply its length by its width. The length of this rectangle is 4 fifths of a centimeter. So we have to multiply it by the width of 3 fourths. Because we have a 4 on the top and the bottom, we may cancel both of those out and change those both into 1's. Next, we can multiply 1 times 3, which produces 3. And for the denominator, we have 5 times 1, and that produces 5. So the area of the shown rectangle is 3 fifths of a square centimeter. 